one, Son of Beast here, and this is the last one for the Western Conference of the play-in tournament. As right now, the OKC Thunder's gone. We have only one team that need to try to take the win. It's in between by the last match in the setup. Minnesota Timberwolves has destroyed the OKC Thunders, but now their time is to go against the New NOLA Pelicans. If they win, they are move on to the playoff to take on against the Denver Nuggets, the top seeded team in the Western Conference. If they don't win and the Pelicans win, well, they will have to carry on then to move up to the next round to start the bracket of the tournament in this part of the game. We're really seeing what's going to happen. But I am not sure what are they going to do if they're going to keep right at the target line. They could be tough. I mean, no one a hard offense on this one. But they're a very good team for the Denver Nuggets to keep right into the game. We'll see what happens if there's anything that changes. The lineups are as being as followed. Mike Conley, Anthony Edwards, Jaden McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns, and Rudy Gobert, along with the NOLA Pelicans. CJ McCollum, Josh Richardson, Herbert Jones, Brandon Ingram, and Jonas Valanciunas. Now, for the next commentary, I will have a next report. We have Test 2, and he's along with the error player that go with the, with the contestant to give this one a try to light ball. I will be back here with the halftime show and the post-game show, so I'll see you all later in just a bit after the end of the first and second half. Guys, all yours. Enjoy the last game of the play-in tournament. And that's the and your starting lineups. As for the Pelicans and the Wolves, we'll be right back after this break. Movie King Center. Along with me and Lightbulb, this is the NBA. Win the game and the play in tournament. Along the sideline, we have his Alley LaForce. Here's Alley. Well, Carl Anthony Towns is one of the best shooting big men the game has ever seen. But he says, everyone knows me for shooting, but you can't be one dimensional. For this team to grow, I have to grow as well. I've got to get better as a leader and help my teammates be better as well. Yeah, they're making, they're making contacts out there. Thank you, Alley. <laughs> And I'm really excited to see. They're very in tough and bones of the player of the games. They're ready to get this thing on the board, and I think I'm really excited to see who's going to be in the playing to playoff position because we know it's underway. And the groups are on the line, and we're ready to get things started right between the line of Noah and Minnesota. This is where it comes down to this. Rudy Gobert wins the tip off, and we're underway here in the Smoothie King Center. He's guarded up here as we have Conley on CJ McCollum. Then it's Anthony Edwards here on McGinnis. Carl Anthony Towns, he's covered up here by Brandon Ingram. Then it's Rudy Gobert on Valanciunas. Towns makes the drive with the first bucket layup. And you call that one, go back to his rate of season. His most of his career has turned out to be just like he was going to ever go accomplish all with his goals. He knows his best, but most of all, it has proven to be out for a the first foul is called on Anthony Edwards. That'll be his first personnel, first team foul on Minnesota. With 5.25 left, we got a good layup drive here coming in for Josh Richardson. And with a Josh Richardson layup, he was able to go right around it. And he was able to try to like keep it right on the focus. The line was definitely unclear. Most of them are really con confidentially that he was going to take his own risk. But they decided not to get right over it. He wants to stay active. First free throw set in for Josh Richardson. Last time he was able to play with Dallas Mavericks, but his contract has signed in for New Ola, Nola Pelicans as he begins to make a trade-in switch right in between and here. Yeah, I have to say that Josh Richardson was able to play his ultimate game. Rural's really successful in the range, but it may not be enough to try to, like, go back the other way. And you might be saying that if there is one way that they're going to keep an eye on him, 
You're gonna need to get Joshua to say what the hell. Here's Conley. He will roll down to the other court. Now here's Rudy Gobert. Back over to Conley to McDaniels. McDaniels has scored a couple of point buckets in a score after a win against the OKC Thunders. Really turned out to be a successful moment that he has ever played in his career life. Most of all, it does happen. Nice drive for Conley. He's already picking up the move. And that was your mobile one drive for Mike Conley of the Wolves. Just passing the two minute mark here in the first period. It's 4-2 Minnesota. McCollum on Conley over again. Rebounded up by Carl Anthony Towns. He's got his, his first rebound in the game. Sends over to Edwards on the outside. He swings back over again to McDaniels. Swings over. Now back the other way to Edwards. With a jumper, Point Bucket scores for Edwards. He's got his first bucket here in a play-in tournament. Turned out to be terrific out there. Really keeping eyes on Fry. Goaltending calls on Rudy Gobert. They will count the bucket for Valentunas after CJ McCollum's shot, making the assist. Yeah, he's really up to that point because if CJ McCollum was up there giving the pass over to Valentunas, he would be able to give that one a good score. You can't deflect it from the back of a board. If it was hit right toward off the angle of the backboard, they will count that bucket in. Here's Conley. After Saturday's win against the Los Angeles Clippers in regular season, he has made a great stopping run for 10 points of the game. He's really on a comfortable run to get that one a good look here. And when they know him, that CJ McCollum was able to play his moment, that he relieves his end from his own end. After playing with the Portland Trail Blazers, he now has made his own contract here to give it up a run. CJ McCollum, wide open look, no good, as Towns picks up another rebound. McDaniels with the bucket. Now back over to Conley. With the scoop, heavy contest shot, good stop by McDaniels. As right now, CJ McCollum has to recover with the ball. Now Jones back here away over to McCollum. Allen Jr. is on Gobert. Waits for the floor, goes right to Jones. Shot clock to six. With the shot up and over McDaniels, and it's rebounded here by McDaniels. Now McDaniels with that one could be a little uh, off the angle of the hook. Might be, could be going for, for a heavy hit. May not be enough here, but I, I don't think they might have it. Rebounded up here, no good for, for a two-point floater. Jones outside. Scanning the floor over to Richardson. Trying to leave him from behind, and it's Valanciunas with the screen. Over and over again, Gobert for two. And couldn't get the bucket in there. Another miss by Nola Pelicans. They're shooting it wrong. They're not picking up the look of an open offense to pick up their own strength. That may be out of you, but can't leave the man open like you're going to go for the win. McDaniels makes the bucket, count it, and one. And the foul calls on Brandon Ingram, his close personal. Two substitution for the Timberwolves, as four players are checked out and four players check in. Reed Anderson, Austin Rivers, and Jaden Noel. The Pelicans are also making new changes. All five players checked out, all five players check in. Murphy, Daniels, Nance Jr., El Alvarado, and Daniels. That was, that was all I had. McDaniels hits the free throw. The deck out of it may be a lot harder than they are ever facing it before. Like they are a tough team. Maybe they'll have to prove himself to go with the next season floater. Marshall to Daniels. Try to pick a screen for Nance Jr. He gives it off to Nance Jr. Over around the Reed. Good rebound here by Reed. Reed's first uh, layup is very really improving what his scores really look like. And this really has to go back the air play to get back the another courage with the go with another run. McDaniels, bounce pass to Anderson. Over and in. With a bucket floater in and it counts it in. 
McDaniel's got his first assist here on Anderson with the first bucket of the night. He's really proving it all. Might have to show what he's going to be able to do for his next proven drive. Nance Jr. back to Daniels. Under 90 seconds, Daniels needs to find a shot. The clock is winding down. Need to get there fast. Nice D by Austin Rivers as he gets his first rebound of the game. You see that Austin Rivers got a good hand of it with protection underneath him. It really does stand out. Like he was able to, able to take the rebound and go with encouragement to go back the other way. McDaniels back outside, making a two floater. Rolls in and out, and it goes oh, back over to Daniels. Murphy for three. Rebounded. Vance Jr. back with a two-point scorer in. His first bucket has appeared. It's 13-6 run. Timberwolves lead by seven. Noel gives off to Rivers. Gives back over to McDaniels. With a layup, scoop the bucket in, and it's McDaniels keeps it on the roll. And Austin Rivers with the assist. Here's Alvarado. Has scored and made their team to the playoffs last time. Now here's Murphy. Murphy back over to Nance Jr. Rolls back to Murphy with a bucket. Up with the two. Rebounded again here by McDaniels. He's certainly not giving it up a good feed enough. That gives him a hard look of it astray. Not going to be enough to keep that with a call an open look. McDaniels back over again to Rivers. Four on, a on the game clock. Noel with the buzz beater and makes a shot. And officials are going to take the review on the call before they get the bucket in for Noel. Well, I'm not sure if it is going to be in there, but it may be that close call. Replay review coming in. And here's Noel's shot. He was at the free as a free for our line. And here's he is. Yep. There it is. They're going to count the bucket in there as per Noel made that shot. And he had that one in there just right before the end of the first period. Yeah, he's pretty good on that one. He's really giving us a good target in the line. That's a good bucket. And that will end the first period. 17 to 6. A little devastating devastating in the first period for the Pelicans, but they have to wind it back up to do it again. Absolutely. They need to do it right on timing. We'll get the second quarter coming up right after the break. And we just tune in for the second quarter. As for right now, the game is still underneath the scores. Right now, the Pelicans are trailing by a lot of points. And they're trailing by 11. They're really a tough one. I give that one a good run of the opinions. They're not really that tough. To be honest with you, I have to admit that most players need to get right to work because they're not always picking up the strength and I mean the Pelicans, are, they're already just losing focus. Most games are very that tough. Tremendable run. Ingram makes a try. And that one will share you what the good look of a switch. I like that one. Ingram layup, in it goes. Excellent mobile one drive for the Pelicans for the start of the second quarter. Gobert back over to Conley. Swings over to Prince. Prince on Jones. Gets back to Conley. Over to McCollum. Shots good for Conley. That's another bucket range as the Minnesota Wolves regain their lead. Now back to Richardson. To Jones for three. Missed the target outside the range. That target was going to give him a hard on the look. You can't just find another player if you're going to go with an open shot range and you're at the foot, feet straight, and with the set. You might have to keep that one over. And take a look back here from the January 25th. They have won in a previous season that turned to be out like this one was turned out to be a rumble on the time. Now they're already have been winning the games here against the against the Nola Pelicans in the home games. But sometimes ever in away games, they could be really tough to try to keep the range out. They absolutely do. 
And one way to keep that one in there is that most players can definitely go a higher range for an overrated player on the team. You can't just go back with the ever floater if you're going to get that one in there. Because if you do, they're going to keep on scoring. What a play for Tyreen Prince. He's got a free pointer score. Which is sent back over to McCollum. Now here's Ingram. He's guarded by Towns. Screen on Melanchunas. Up with the two. Rebounded up by Carl Anthony Towns. That's number four in a row for Anthony Towns. Here's Gobert. Back to Towns. Prince outside gives over to Edwards. Trying to deliver a screen. Gives it back to Paratyrene Prince. Edwards. With the overhead to Carl Anthony Towns. Lamp scoops and drives. And it's a pass off for Anthony Edwards. They have extended up 16. Already right. gaining out there like he did. Whoa! Brandon Ingram with a sword fly. Right toward the paint. That flying motion out there can just really say that Brandon Ingram was going for a bigger moment. Edwards back over to Conley, right back to Edwards. Swings back to Prince. Five on the shot clock. Edwards. Prince for three. Out target. And rebounded up by Valanciunas. We're nearing down three minutes to go in a second period. A good string of a start. That did turn out that they have a hard one to try to keep their range tight. They absolutely have to do this again. All in one row, there are nobody else around here that might be keeping it on a deck. As right now, Ali LaForce I did talk to Chris Flitch. He made that one a good one to give that one a, a worthy credit runs for the Timberwolves to gain their lead back in momentum. They're really on a hard stroke. Not really everybody else is, but they really got a good one to keep the eyes on target. Yeah, it's, it's possible to say that when Chris uh, Felich was making a good uh, look of a of a good target to try to find their zones, they really have to gain up the momentum. They can't leave it open like that. Like they're going to keep that one there over and over again. But they're really on a hard struggle run to keep it facing from the attack. First timeout called by Nola. That will be 2.21 to go in the first, first half of the period. The NBA of the NBA playing tournament on 2K Sports is brought to you by State Farm. Like their neighbor, State Farm is there. Your local Kia dealer. In a moment, that inspires. Visit your local Kia dealer today. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. Moments we will have the halftime report as right now Sun Beast will be able to wait for this game to make it rise up and get ready for the first half recap. With the game of this up, it could be a little hard on them trick shots if it's high or low range because without Dallas Mavericks, they lost a lot of players the last time they make a new trade in to go with their runs. They're absolutely unable to take that one in post. So it looks like the next one could go in for, for the Mavericks to be eliminated. For Anderson is called a foul here on Minnesota as Jose Alvarado will be heading to the free throw line for another Pelicans free throw percentage. Free throw sets in for Jose Alvarado. Now this moment that Jose Alvarado has done, his play in this game turned out to be like a successful moment that he wants to play with his team to move up to the next level. They're absolutely do. More and more keys are really changing their authentic run to keep that one over and gone. 
they're out of it for real. They really have paid attention with a lot of gaming strides. They gotta go with the team. McDaniels back over to Noel. Right for the paint. And two pointer near the elbow connection. Made that good for Powell. And Noel's got another bucket. That's the second bucket in the game for tonight. Murphy swinging around, around over McDaniels. Swings off to Marshall. Over Anderson, rejected by Reed. Reed has his first block. What a play for Reed. Already turned out like he was able to do his own time. Now here's Edwards back outside with a jump in forward. Shots good for Edwards. He's got nine points, and McDaniels up with it again. They're already been picking up the moment. His facing was just the consequences to go right from back to from in between by zones. Not sure what he's going to do, but that was going to be too much to give a call. That will be a three second violation call called on, called on Marshall, and he'll turn over to Minnesota. A great block here by Anderson. He finally rejected it. That was given a close call. If it was Reed, he was able to make that one a block shot. But if it was Anderson, he would also maintain his way to hit the block shot. What a great D in performance run. Daniels trying to shuffle over to Reed. With the two. Rolls up and goes back over to Murphy. Daniels trying to put the put the run over around Edwards. With the shot, he's fouled. And Noel Reed will be heading right toward an up foul call on Minnesota. That's their second team foul. Come back in here to the line as we have another reaching for the players that gives them up with Daniels. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First player can't make it in. The new changeup is coming up as Austin Rivers is checked in for Edwards. And second free throw won't move it in for Daniels. Rolling down the clock to 30 seconds. Here's Anderson over to Noel. Gives it back over to Anderson. Anderson reaches back to Noel. With a try, he's fouled by all say Alvarado. That's his first personal foul. A number team foul occurs for Noah Pelicans. And talk about Jose Alvarado. He was also a professional player that gives him up with a Grand Theft Alvarado. Instead of his what, his ability in stealing Alvarado representing the Puerto Rico International. Oh man, he was able to do that one in his own kind. I say if it's a GTA, you gotta keep your eyes on the ball court because Alvarado can definitely steal the ball and go back towards around the airway. And he also played with his college basketball team, uh, the Georgia Tech in, uh, in the college program. He was never able to make his team to the March Madness because of his uh, low rating of the, of the rankings. Georgia Tech really haven't paid off almost everything. Well, they have to say, because that one has given a great runs for his uh, stack ability to give that one a lot of worthy shots made. It's very tough to try to go around it. Alvarado with a two. Shot no good as Reed picks his own rebound. Anderson making the way and a clock winds down. Anderson will not count the three. That will end the first half of the game. Minnesota 35 and Nola 14. It's time now to go down to court side. We have Allie standing by. Hey Allie. You were able to build the lead, but what's the key to maintaining it or even increasing it going forward? 
I mean, don't change what we're doing. So stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. Consistency is a beautiful thing. Thanks, Carl. All right, Ali, thank you so much. Stay tuned, we've got the third quarter coming up in action. We'll be right back after this. Hello, basketball guys. As you all have seen, that this turned out to be a tough game, like they knew it. Let's have a recap look. Pelicans off to a one tough angle, but as for Edwards making good cut motions, he was able to pick up his focus from the game for Minnesota to catch in and make their way into the bracket to start their game in the playoffs. They made it last year in, in a season six, but his time often that Noel made a, made a buzz beater, he was able to pick up his own game. He's doing really well and also for the team for the Minnesota, given a good run. And as for the Pelicans, they're out of the range. Not really sure what they're going to keep it going from here. But in that case, they might have to keep that one an eyes open look. They are having a difficult strength and a difficult situation. Not really sure what they're going to keep it going. But they might have to go back to work and go right with the flow. Don't be sleepy. You might have to keep up with the strength. Go high, go hard. And that's going to wrap it up with the halftime show of me, Son of Beast. We'll send you back to Test Tube and Light Bulb. See you on the post game show, everyone. Welcome back as we're about to be heading towards the third quarter of the game. As for the Minnesota Timberwolves, we've got a great angle to show that Anthony Edwards has really faced things on right in above. Exactly true because there is one way to tell. Since we've seen him since 2019 NBA draft, he was able to play his first team here in the first round. Now we're giving him a great look of our offense run. I understand that he's really doing really good in this game, but hopefully, let's make him the best. Brandon Ingram about to start the third period, and they are coming back in it right now. They sure do. They need that one. Conley back over to Edwards. He swings back over again to McDaniels. McDaniels looking for an open man cover. Up and over head pass to Gobert. Around Montreux, shot good and one. And Montreux picks up his foul. Put another team foul on Nola. Right now, Rudy Gobert is at the free throw line shooting one with an excellent look. That facing is a good, tremendous way to get that one a shot. Up and over the air and went right in it. Another free throw coming up here for as right now the, the Wolves are gaining another free throw percentage. Takes one in. Rudy Gobert has three points on the game. Here's McCollum. Hasn't really scored yet here in one of the three pointers, but looking for a way to get in his run and his attention to pick up his momentum to stick it from the back. Richardson outside. He went out of bounds. His foot was stepped on a sideline, and now it turns over to Minnesota ball. Oh boy, that. That foot gotta be very careful on that one. That could be a lot of dead, a lot of habits to go with the foot out of bounds, and you're out of luck. Gobert outside, racing toward over again to McDaniel's, scanning the floor. Conley, a great pass by McDaniel's, and Conley picks up six points in the game as McDaniel picks up the assist. He's excellent, doing really well when he does. McDaniels, Jared Richardson on Edwards. Trying to move it for the depth of not being a free call for a free second violation. And the cat dunk rejects it. Not this time, it's Ingram making a shot bucket and one. That's a good play in this one that Brandon Ingram was able to pick up one more time. First team foul. Cat was, has released his, uh, with a personal foul 
of the shots shooting. And right now, Ingram is at the free throw line taking one shot. Now, he's really well on a, on a better play at this angle. How does it really feel that Brandon Ingram is able to keep up his range? Well, he's definitely really that. Kind of interesting to see that Brandon Ingram is definitely doing it really well. And for some time, however, that Brandon Ingram has really given it a good lot of uh, defensive set. He's given it well, but try to become a much better player than you've ever done. The Wolves have the lead up here by, by, by 31. Conley back to McDaniels. Try to make the shot. Floater missed again. Conley back outside with the two. Good out the range. Conley has eight points in the game. Out of four out of five with the field goals range, he's picking up P. Of course he does. Every time, Mike Conley really give that one a good P. McCollum on Valentunas. Obear on it. Back to Matt Malcolm. To McCollum. McCollum trying to go for the three. Missed the opportunity range from outside as it's rebounded by Cat. They also called him as Cat. That's Carl Anthony Towns. How does it really turn out with the nicknames? Probably. I mean, they're really like excellent on that one. But you can't just say like it's Adam Katz. No, that's not really true. But Carl Anthony Towns can really say that Cat is a short name to go with that one. And Mobile One is a turn out great drive for Conley. That an excellent Mobile One drive by, by the Timberwolves of Conley. Jones outside, trying to look over to another player. Gobert on it, trying to pass to Richardson, and good feed by Valentunas! Richardson picking up the pointer, and with that one with two games of the season, he's really lifting it up. Only 10 points and only one to take over with the shooting fouls. Shooting percentage is very tough to get that one in good runs. I know that Josh Richardson was able to try to pick up his momentum, but don't be mindful, they're really on top carries. Three on the shot clock, Edwards for three, and cash in, that's Edwards with a banger. Edwards has got 12 points in the game, 2.30 left to play in the third period, 47-21, they trail by 26. Richardson for three, Making a rebound, and Valentunas picking it back in the game. They're down by 20. 24. Conley back over to Edwards. Reaching back over to McDaniels. Two minutes left to play in the third period. Go bear around Valentunas. Good, good rebound here by Valentunas. They say that when Valentunas always get the ball, he has to give that one a good one to try to stop the run. Pressure is very difficult. Here's Edwards back over to McDaniels. Oh, slammed it! But this calls a goaltending on Valentunas. They will have to count the bucket here. Oh, uh, back-to-back switch. Now the revenge is already putting up. One for Rudy Gobert and one for Valentunas. The new substitution that's being the uh, courtesy lineup here has now four players checked out, four players checked in. And the same thing goes here with the Pelicans, as Jose Alvarado's back in the G, the Grand Theft Alvarado. Lance scoops in for Marshall, finally has his first bucket. He's already on the move, way away to make the run for Conley back over to Rivers. Rivers trying to scoot up here to find an open look pass. Prince finds Conley over Ingram. I mean Alvarado, I meant. And Conley, 12 points in the game. My goodness. He's already a killer tonight. He is exactly what he has done. And without the Utah Jazz, his team is officially welcome, along with the other player that they can definitely help them out for with Rudy Gobert. Gives it to Conley. 40 seconds left to play in the third period. Trying to give it over to Rich Anderson. Swings over to Conley. He give it back over to Prince. 
With a, with a stride, scoops it in for Prince. The assist. Here's Alvarado. Hasn't scored yet. One of the experience. Alvarado trying to find a look. Up over to Ingram. With a back step. Three. No pointer here. Regain control as Reed has it recovered with the rebound. That's five for Reed. Here's Conley outside. Three seconds to shoot. With a buzz beater, mate. Oh, cast that in. Mike Conley. 14 points. And he is delivering strong. All has to be like they never done it before. They can definitely do it again and again. What a way for Conley to start. And we reach the end of the third quarter. Fourth quarter is coming up next. After this message, we will have it back out on the court. Now let's have a look at the replay moment presented by State Farm, assist of the game. Here's one way we have to go for that one. And number one drive for a year from McDaniels, he's really like going back to back insane scores. His life goes bright with Gobert. Fourth quarter about to be at playing here. Thank you for tuning in here. If you're tuning with us in the play in tournaments, we have a great, great uh, scores that the Wolves are advancing to the playoffs for the second time in the season. They are always do. They can never believe, and they really love to do it again. Every day, every time, every day. Shot good for Conley. That's 16 in a row. And Ingram has only 11 points. He's doing really good for him tonight. I bet he would. <laughs> really good guy. He's going for it. Number one. Alvarado on Connie. Gives it back to Murphy. To Alvarado. Go with the jumper, look. And another miss here by Nola. Anderson recovering the ball. And Tyreen Prince in the corner. Helping the screen is Anderson. With a move. With a drive. Good, good with Tyree Fritz. And he is right on the money line. Of course, though. It may be a really tough one, but you can never go wrong with anybody. And an excellent mobile one drive for Tyree Fritz of the Bulls. Alvarado finds over Marshall. Marshall searching the floor, trying to look for help. Alvarado for three. And once again, no three pointers were made in. For the Pelicans, they're scoring for no points in the last 251 per minute here in the fourth quarter. They're all everywhere. They cannot be stopped out there for one every quarter. Because if you do have that shot and it misses, you're going to need someone else to try to rebound and run away. Jalen Noel. Jalen Noel making the drive, and now he's got eight points to this bucket score. Daniels on Noel. Daniels trying to make a spin move. Jumper! Daniels! Look at this play! A spin move and a jumper right into the layup drive. Here bench outscoring here by 11. Conley leases over to Reed. Reed swings to Norwell. Up to Reed. Up and over. A good look back and two-pointer makes it. Another basket here, and it's, he's got his first bucket of the night. Waited patiently out there, just really condemnably tough there, all over. Marshall back over to Daniels, back over to Nance Jr. Reed on it. Going with the layup. Good D by Reed as Anderson picks up his third rebound. Anderson right back to Reed. Reed swings to Anderson. Nope, Conley. Swings to Anderson. Swings back to Conley. With a two. Unbelievable! Conley gets 18 points. And they are going on with the win to move in to the playoffs in the start of the tournament. Of course, now, I have to say this one here. They got a good help out there. They just really wanted to give it all. Good D by Anderson. Here's Reed. And here goes Conley. Gates back to Noel, back to Anderson, with a new change, finding a screen for Anderson, with a drive, scoops, good, 20 in 
in a row! My oh my! He's lifting new heights! The stronger, the better mighty that he has ever faced. He's all on hands. Daniel's back over to Alvarado with 2.18 left to go. The Wolves extending their run by 40. Here's Murphy, going to take his own time with the shot. Ooh, that went in and out. We'll have to stop the play here with the Wolves timeout. As of right now, the players are being very, 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 very out of energetic. All the fans are definitely leaving out of there. Well, it's because now they're out there for one reason. They really are not really going back in there. As lots of the players are not going to give them up here what they're going for. Well, especially to me, if you're being honest for sure, that what most players can't do is they can't try to like regain the group. They're out there for one moment of time. But my guess is my only decision to get this thing a pickoff look and go with the player mound to try again. They have to do it something else. It's very easy to bring it up the team and do what they have to do. DMBA playing tournaments on 2K Sports is brought to you by Kia. You moment a moment that inspires. Visit your local Kia dealer today. Ruffles, the official ship of the NBA. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And now it's time for a New Balance player of the day. The player goes out to Mike Conley. Mike Conley is definitely going for our biggest player ever. When he gets his own right gut shots, he gives that one a good pass over and under. An excellent feed off for Cat and other players. Conley is doing his new heights with the new team. really not seeing it going. And checking out the fantastic block by Anderson. Anderson was able to go with that one hand motion. You never seen the Royal Globes coming down here in the first half. You never know what's going to come down the second half next. They really are fighting for the win. We have two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Temple. Trying to go into the attack. And now uh, layup to drive good. With McLaughlin, here he is. Swings off to Alexander Walker. Walker finds some more junior. Junior to Prince. Step back for the two, and Prince does it again. He's got a second bucket of the night, and more junior with the assist. These easy keys are very that tough. He has 11 points right now. And the board of this guy, he's really trying to keep him on the nice move and steady. Daniels missed the two-pointer range, and now it turns over to Prince. Prince has got his first rebound of the game. He swings to Alexander Walker, now back to McLaughlin. Time is ticking down. We are almost at a, we're almost at the home stretch for the Wolves win. Daniels making a rebound here after a missed shot for Minnesota. Minnesota are really a tough team, and same thing that goes with the Wilds. They're trying to get the answer back, but now Winnipeg Jets have extended their lead here 2-0 over 2-0 over the other, other team that they were all going for. Trying to keep the win, trying to keep it alive. I mean, they have to do it. Without anybody else there, they're really like a tough one to try to go with the champ. To try to move all the way to the conference finals. And for Wilds, there are definitely, absolutely a, a terrific team that they have ever made before with the wins. Not everybody's favorite, but if they all go for that, then it may be tough to find it out who will get the win. 
Moore Jr. with the two. Good shot range from two outside the range. And they have extended back up by 40. One last possession for the Pelicans. And will not be able to take them from here. And that is it. Your final score. As we always make a thank you season for New Love Pelicans, they'll be back next season. 71 to 31 is your final score. This is Test Tube Along with Light Bulb, and it's, this has been a presentation of the NBA Play In Tournaments. We'll see you next time as we begin the bracket of the NBA postseason. So long, everyone, and now it's time to head into the postseason for Post Game Show. First Side Beast, all yours. See you next time. Test Tube, thank you so much for your time. And with the end of the play-in tournaments, here's how they did with the final statistics look in between the Wolves and the Pelicans. Pelicans are eliminated in the playoff contest at this moment to race into the playoffs. And right now, the Timberwolves are in the playoffs of the number eight seed to take on against the Denver Nuggets. With the total games this point, here's how they did. With field goals for 80% for the Wolves, three-pointers with 75 for the Wolves, 71 percentage for the Pelicans, and it's two fast break points for the Wolves. Points in the paint was 34 for the Wolves, second chance points eight for the Pelicans. And only a couple of the bench points and assists turned out to be like that for the Wolves, 25 and 28. Then offensive rebound was only Pelicans and defensive rebound was the Wolves. No steals remained because there was nobody uh, taking a turnover. Two blocks as we gained for Timberwolves to try to stop the pressure down. Only two, um, two points off for each teams. Nobody had that one in front. Less, less team fouls for the Pelicans to start to pick a good run out of it. And only four dunks performed for the Pelicans. 40 biggest lead for the, for the Wolves. That's the biggest, highest moment that they were ever doing it. And 8-12-18 time of possession. And no timeout was able to give up with two only Pelicans. Because everybody else was making a one last substitution change. So that one, it has been a tremendous night here to end for the part of the postseason. And this one is just a great night to, to salute for the Pelicans. So I hope you enjoyed watching the uh, play-in tournaments, and now, before I go, I would like to announce the three star players of the game. Here we have the start of this one. We've got a good look in between here by the guys that they're looking at. We have his Tyreen Prince, 11 points, one rebound, two assists. Got a good uh, connection feed outside of the range and done a great work on his offense run with the skills that he needs. He's all alone, fantastic job. Now, on to number two. The next star goes on to Anthony Edwards. Two 12 points in the game, one rebound, three assists. Really did real fantastic job that he was able to help his team, but only received the foul, so that doesn't matter, because at this point, the screen of a play protection highlight was showing just like he did. And for number one, this one goes to Mike Conley, a New Balance player of the game. Winner of this part of the game. 20 points. He's like never giving up. He just really can't believe that his point guard was the best. And thanks to Rudy Gobert for bringing Mike Conley to regain the group back alive. And the other players, no more question to be found. With 6 assists and definitely 34 performance run of the game. So I guess that has to end here with the play-in tournament. I hope you all enjoyed it. And right now, as we are approaching, we've got playoff time to make the schedule happening here, which will begin on April 16th on Son of Beast. If you guys are tuning into this channel, so, so uh, give yourself some, uh, some, uh, some time, mark your calendars on a notification, you will get some more receiving of this game if you are tuning into one of the games that will be in here for tonight. As of right now, the first matchups that we are seeing in the playoff picture 
you will see it here, right, as they, as they come along the board. Right now, at this game, we have a number one that has to bring things in. Right now, the Wolves are playing against the Nuggets, and then the Lakers are playing against the Memphis Grizzlies. Then the Raptors are playing against the, the Bucks, and the Heat playing against the Celtics. So that will have to do with the last one to remain. So the first game we will start is the fourth versus the fifth seed in the game for the Eastern Conference. But for the Western Conference, we will have the third seed take on against the sixth seed. So that means the Kings are playing against the Warriors, another Western Conference California showdown in the game. Since we, seen, we, since we have done it last season here, you can check out the regular season if you would like to do that. And the other hand right now, we have another fourth seed versus fifth seed, the Suns and the Clippers. That will be the next one to be determined here for the third part of the game. And then for the third and sixth seed, we have is the Sixers and the Nets at Wells Fargo Center. That will be in Philadelphia for the first game. And then for the first seed against the eighth seed will be the Bucks and the Raptors here at Fiserv.Forum. Then the second seed versus the seventh seed will be the Grizzlies and the Lakers at FedEx Forum. And the last two here will be the Nuggets against the Wolves. That will be happening at Ball Arena. And finally, the Celtics and the Heat. The rematch after we've seen them playing all the way down to the Eastern Conference Finals before the Heat end up with a loss in Game 7. So right now, they're back to do it again. So the first game will be happening here on April 16th, so keep your eyes steady on that one. We will have three games to get into the, into the playoff match to try to go with the victim of the flow. So we'll see you in the playoffs to get ready for the fight and earn your way to the next round. This is Son of Beast, and thank you for joining us here for tonight's game of the Pelicans and the Wolves. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NBA play-in tournament dial. I'll see you all next time for the start of the playoff bound. Good night, everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.